History of Idi Amin Idi Amin Dada Umi, commonly known as Idi Amin, was a military officer and politician who ruled Uganda from 1971 to 1979. He was born around 1925 in either Kaboko or Kampala, Uganda, although the exact date and place of his birth remain uncertain. Amin's exact ancestry is also debated, with various claims made about his heritage, including Kakwa, Lugbara, and Kakwa Lugbara descent. Amin joined the King's African Rifles KAR, of the British Colonial Army in the late 1940s and served in various capacities, including as a cook and later as a soldier during the Mau Mau uprising in Kenya. He rose through the ranks and by 1966, he had become the commander of the Ugandan army. In January 1971, Amin seized power in a military coup while President Obote was attending a Commonwealth summit in Singapore. Amin justified his actions by claiming to save the nation from corruption and human rights abuses. Initially, his regime gained popular support, but that changed as his rule became characterized by brutal repression, human rights abuses, and economic mismanagement. During his time in power, Amin implemented policies that targeted certain ethnic and political groups, most notably the persecution of Akoli and Langi ethnic groups, who were associated with Amin's political rivals. Thousands of people were killed, tortured, or displaced during his regime. Amin also expelled Uganda's Asian community, predominantly of Indian and Pakistani descent, seizing their businesses and properties. Amin's eccentric and unpredictable behavior, coupled with his ruthless rule, attracted international attention and condemnation. He styled himself as His Excellency President for Life, Field Marshal Al-Haji Dr. Idi Amin Dada, VC, DSO, MC, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the seas and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. In 1976, Amin's regime gained further notoriety when his security forces hijacked an Air France plane, which had been diverted to Entebbe Airport in Uganda. Israeli commandos later carried out a daring rescue mission, Operation Entebbe, successfully freeing the hostages, but the incident further damaged Amin's international standing. Amin's rule was marked by economic decline, corruption, and human rights abuses. His administration was characterized by nepotism, with key government positions filled by his relatives and cronies. Amin frequently promoted himself through self-aggrandizing propaganda and awarded himself numerous military titles and honors. In 1979, Amin's regime collapsed when he invaded Tanzania, prompting a counteroffensive by Tanzanian forces along with Ugandan exiles known as the Uganda National Liberation Army UNLA. Amin was eventually forced to flee Uganda, seeking refuge first in Libya and later in Saudi Arabia, where he lived in exile until his death in 2003. The exact number of victims during Amin's rule remains unknown, but estimates range from 100,000 to 500,000 people killed. The atrocities committed during his regime, including torture, extrajudicial killings, and disappearances, continue to haunt Uganda's history. Idi Amin's legacy is that of a brutal dictator who presided over one of the darkest periods in Uganda's history. His regime left deep scars on the country, and Uganda faced significant challenges in the post-Amin era as it sought to rebuild and heal from the wounds of his rule.